Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about Norwegian Cruise Line. We ended the day at 26.60, um, up around seven cents from yesterday's close, but still a red day on the day. We ended lower than when we opened. We are below that nine day EMA, could not breach and hold that for whatever reason. Going forward, that's going to be our first. Um, area of resistance that's going to be right at the 2682 mark above that we're looking right here at this 200 day moving average that's currently trading at 2736 and then above that we're looking up here at this 2845 resistance area now support wise what are we looking at well we have a nice um support slash it was our old resistance so now it's going to be our new support it's going to be right here at this 26.13 um, and then below that we're looking at the 50-day moving average that's currently trading right at 25.75 rsi and our stochastics both relatively neutral to oversold so nothing really to worry about in here we do have earnings coming up here in a couple of weeks so that's something to keep an eye out on. You can see if we, as we dig in deeper here to the 30 minute chart, um, it started to climb up today, really just a big green day for the market overall. Um, but really um, Norwegian kind of, um, we kind of pushed up and then just kind of pulled back here. It seems like we pulled back harsher when the market pulled back than we went up higher when the market went up, you know what I'm saying? So um, keep an eye on your cruise lines and has the, as they trade, um, with the market and just kind of keep that whole sector in mind when you're watching this. Okay. A little harsher pullback when the whole market pulls back, when we start going forward, um, not really the same amount of steam ahead. So, um, that is interesting to watch in here. Um, but again, if you're trading the 30 day moving average, we are below the nine day EMA 200 day and your 50 day moving averages in there. Like we said, we have earnings coming up in a couple of weeks, so we might get a nice little earnings run. Um, we do have earnings coming up. It's going to be that second week of November. So your second week expiration cycle in there, everybody's pricing in right around $2 and 50 cents of an expected move. November monthly is everybody's pricing in right around 234. You do have around a 30 cents, uh, set 37 cent expected move by tomorrow. And then next Friday, everybody's looking at right around a dollar expected move in there with relatively low IV really across the table for all those expiration cycles. So pretty much no IV in here kind of can do whatever you want to kind of take advantage of that low IV. Um, but again, we're looking for a little bit of a run up here as we get closer to that earnings. Again, just to reiterate, watch that nine day EMA right at that 2682. Watch the 200 day moving average right there at the 2736. Watch the 2613s and that 50 day moving average, which is currently trading right around that 2575 area. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to check us out on our social media. We have attached links to our socials in the description. And we also have a trading service if you're interested. There's more information in the description below.